In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the two say blocks in Scratch. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. I often get asked the question, why doesn't my sprite say what I entered in the say block? And then I get shown a script that looks something like this. So when you click on the green flag, all you really see is the second line, and I like biscuits and waffles. The thing is, the first line, I'm Clark, is being run, but it's happening so quickly that you only see the last line. And I can prove it. Let's add a wait block in between the two say blocks by going over to control and bringing over a wait block in between the two lines. Now when I run it, you'll see it says I'm Clark and I like biscuits and waffles. And if I were to remove the wait block, once again you'd only see the second line and I like biscuits and waffles because the first line is running so quickly you can't even see it. Another aspect of using just the say block is that the last line won't automatically disappear. If you want it to go away, you need to add another say block with an empty input. And once again you're going to have to wait one second or as many seconds as you want and then add a say block with an empty input. Let's test this out to see how it runs by clicking the green flag, and it works. Now let's look at the other say block. To replicate this part of the script, all I need to do is drag in two say blocks for two seconds, or I could change the time on this. Let me move this down just so I have it for reference. And now I don't need any wait blocks, and if I click on the green flag, we get the same functionality. So you may be wondering, why would you ever use the first say block, the one without the number of seconds? It can make sense to do so if you want a speech bubble to always be showing on the sprite. In this program, I wanted to show the x and y coordinates of my sprite at all times, because as I move my cursor, my sprite is following the cursor. So having a say block here makes sense. I don't want it to disappear after a few seconds. But if you're going to have sprites talk to one another or by itself in a conversational format, making each speech bubble show for a few seconds will be more optimal. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.